Hey everyone, we have a new feature to launch this morning. So what we're looking at is a Pinterest pin that was sent via Socialmonials. So this is not our link shortener, this is a custom domain that we're using for our link shortener. So now, basically, you're able to use your own domain, just add go to the front of it or R or something clever, and you've got your own custom link shortener. All of the features of our existing link shortener are still there. It's still tracking, still providing detailed reporting, conversion reporting, even on your e-commerce, it's telling you how much revenue you're generating from all your campaigns, all of your social posts, but now it's doing it with your branding. Very excited about this. So basically, the reason we did this is we are trying to make Socialmonials the one and only tool that you need to run your social media agency, side hustle, or if you have your own business, this is the only tool you need to run your entire social media um, department. So that's why we did it. Let me go show you how it works. I'm gonna jump back in to Socialmonials. This is a verification report of a post that we just sent. So let's see how it looks on Facebook. Go.toygear.com. You'll notice it still has the um, characters at the end. And one thing that's really important to point out is Socialmonials is still posting five or six different links for each one of your social posts. We post one for every single social network that you include in your post. So you'll notice this one starts with F. That means this is for Facebook. There's a P one for Pinterest, a T for Twitter. So each one of the networks has their own. And the reason we do this, nobody else does it, but the reason we do it and spend the extra time, effort, and database costs to do it is if somebody shares this, and it somebody on, you know, let's say they share it and it goes out to Pinterest and to Twitter and to even their email account. Anywhere they share this, we're going to be able to tell you what the origin was of that share and the resulting conversions. So if they share this on Facebook um, and then they share that link across their other networks and via email, whatever it is. If that person that they're sharing it with clicks through and buys, it doesn't matter what medium they used to discover the link. Since the origin was Facebook, we know that. No other social network can provide, or social media um, software can provide that level of insight, but you're gonna be able to go into your social media report within Socialmonials, and you will know that when Facebook says that you generated 350 bucks from that post, you know it's really from Facebook. So you have the best attribution in the industry. So the reason I told you that is now that you have this custom domain, now you have all the benefits of link shorteners that you were having to pay separately for, and you also still have that killer attribution that Socialmonials provides. So it's really a best case scenario for people that are doing a lot of social media posting. And it's not just for our social media posting. Also, within our campaigns, you'll notice that, let's take this video contest for example. If I go to the get code, before what would happen is, even if you have a custom domain, if you have an enterprise account, you had a custom domain, that's great. Um, but if you shortened it, it would go down to the rfr.bz links. Now, if you shorten it even, you've got these beautiful little links that have your custom domain. So now you can share this to direct people to your video contest, photo contest, it doesn't matter, even your viral sweepstakes. And speaking of viral sweepstakes, as you know, there are many different ways people can earn bonus entries in the viral sweepstakes. Every single one of those referral bonus entry um, links used to be rfr.bz. That way we can track it and reward the entrant if people click through and say bought from your e-commerce site to earn 50 bonus points. Well, now when they're sharing that, it's going to have your e-commerce site's um, domain used in the share. So you're getting that additional branding, not just for the person that enters, but the thousands of friends that they have that see that share. So it's really powerful. 
Um, even our share buttons, if you use our share buttons, if anybody shares to any of the social networks, now we're going to use your custom domain to do that. Very excited. It's really easy to set up. You need to um, go into your DNS, and just like before, you need to create a C name. The difference is you're going to create a new one. I like Go, um, so it's go.yourdomain.com. Um, and the difference is with this one, you're going to point it to rfr.bz. That is our link shortener. Um, I recommend setting it for 600 seconds, as short as possible for the TTL. And that's it. Now you are going to wait 10 minutes and you're going to go over to um, account preferences. It's called workspace preferences for our agency clients. There's a new section called link shortening. And you're still going to be able to disable link shortening if you're a client in a country that requires that. But once this is switched on, you're going to be able to type in whatever you want for your custom domain. Just like I said, make sure you wait 10 minutes. And if you try to do it without waiting the 10 minutes, you know there's going to be a warning letting you know that you need to wait the 10 minutes. Um, after that is done, you can just click OK on that warning. And that's it. This is a little different in that we will automatically generate the SSL for you. We go out and obtain it. So we have a script that does that. You no longer need to go to live chat and request that your domain be activated. It's different for the, um, for the link shortener custom URLs. You don't need to do that. It will automatically get activated. And within five minutes, our script will go out and obtain an SSL for you. And you'll be ready to start posting to social media again. Your old shortened links, the rfr.bz ones, will still work, but now your new ones will work as well, and you can start going about business as usual. So I should tell you that there um, there is a cost to this domain. If, you, if you're an enterprise user, it's totally free. If you're not an enterprise user, there is a one-time fee. There's no monthly charge for this, but there's a one-time activation fee of $95. And once you pay that, you can use this link unlimited times for the life of the account. So if you have any questions, please reach out to us, as always, and we appreciate your business.